Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your NVIDIA Shield game controller up to your Linux machine using Bluetooth. So, obviously, make sure your Linux machine has Bluetooth and basically use it for the EPSXE emulator to play PlayStation 1 games. And this can be used with any of the you know, NVIDIA Shield you know, game controllers. And yeah, let me show you the game controller. Okay, so you should be seeing it right now. We go right here. So this is the one from 2017. The the 2015 one is a bit chunky. I do prefer this design. But again, you know, either one will work. So there's two options. You can either sync it by Bluetooth, which is what I'm going to show you, or get a micro USB cable what's supplied, plug it in, and you you know you're good to go. So let me show you the Bluetooth way of connecting it. Go to your Bluetooth settings. If you're on a different Linux distro or version, feel free to you know navigate to the settings in whichever way that you normally would. So now you need to put this into syncing or you know also known as pairing mode. Do that by keeping this pressed till this light starts flashing. So let me show you. That's flashing now, so it's in pairing mode, and it will appear any moment now as a NVIDIA device. NVIDIA controller, click it. You'll say connected in a few seconds. There we go. And that's it. That's all you need to do to connect it. Now the last step is to go into EPSXE, go to game pads, port one, pad one. Now actually map all the controls. So let's map them up. You know what? I usually don't map the analog sticks because the original PlayStation 1 controller didn't you know, have analog sticks. But you know what? I'll do it. I want to change things up a bit. Not that the game that I'll be using will use it, Crash Bandicoot, but they're there if you want them. You could also map them to you know these controls as well. So that way you could actually use them in games that don't use the analog sticks. But the Nvidia Shield game controller has more than enough controls for a full playstation controller including the joysticks uh, what's this one this is that's right there we go and now oh yeah so this is just you know clicking the joystick in might as well map them as well while we're actually mapping everything and start and select there's no buttons here but there's some buttons down here so you can no, there's extra buttons as you can see. So let's go use that one and then that one. Yeah, click OK. And let me show you it working. So file, run ISO. We've got Crash Bandicoot in the download directory. Move this to the center. I'm gonna press F3 to load the state. I'll just turn the volume down. Let me just show you it working. So actually, oh, they did bring support. I must still forgot about that later on with the analog sticks. But you can as you can navigate here. You no, know, this is jump. This is well, square and circling. The original Crash Bandicoot did the same function, hence why it's spinning. But in later Crash Bandicoot and in other games, they do different functionality. So that's it. There you go. That that's all you need to do. These controls don't have any functionality in Crash Bandicoot per se, but the games they do, and I can pause and I can press select to go back to the map as well. So that's it, that is how you sync up a NVIDIA Shield game controller up to your Linux machine, any distro that you want, so you can play PlayStation 1 games via the EPSXE emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.